Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. I am here today to share a look at and create with the brand new quarterly release from Not Too Shabby. It is called Festive Christmas and is just full of card making goodies perfect for the upcoming holiday season. This release includes a festive Christmas paper pad, vintage Christmas charm glitter enamel dots, which you know these are some of my favorite enamel dots that come from Not Too Shabby, the new mini messages stamp set, which has stamps for just about every occasion, and there are two new packages of ephemera. Over here on the left is the Christmas shops, and it's just a variety of vintage looking shops decorated for Christmas. And over on the right is the gingerbread houses ephemera. And just like it sounds, there are cute little gingerbread houses. And then there are also some little candy treats to go with it. I will have all of these products linked down in the description box below so you can find out more about them. And make sure to keep watching so you get a close up look at the fabulous papers in this pad. As I get into the process, I will tell you about all of the products and tools that I'm going to be using, including the new October 2024 sheet load of cards. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I wanted to give you a better look at each of the papers in the festive Christmas paper pad. The A sides feature traditional Christmas images like trees, presents, pine cones, poinsettias in your reds and greens and some pops of yellow or gold. The B sides feature some great coordinating patterns. They include wood grain and glitter, which the not too shabby glitter paper is some of my favorite because you don't have to worry about it flaking off. For my cards today, I chose two pieces from the paper pad, and instead of pairing the fronts together on each card, I'm actually going to pair the front and back for a little bit more variety in my cards. Now I do already have a debut and a process video that tells you all about the October 2024 sheet load, so today I won't really be going through the process. Make sure to check out the description box below for links. Here's a look at my matted pattern papers all put together on their toffee base. Now I could have mixed and matched what type of pattern was at the top, you know, sometimes having the pattern, sometimes having the wood grain, but I thought having the pattern at the top and the wood grain at the very bottom kind of looked like a wallpaper and then a wood floor. Also, while I was off camera, I prepared some card bases in cilantro and cherry pop. And on the inside, I added a piece of white cardstock for the personal message and used up some of the scraps in a partial circle there at the bottom. The next thing I did was add my matted pattern papers to the card fronts. And I did mention in the process video, you can always move this piece left, right, or leave it centered like the sketch suggests, like I did here. I just wanted to show you how I put together one of the greens and one of the reds, and the rest of these I finished off camera. For my focal points, I'll be using the Christmas Shops Ephemera. I have some out on my desktop, but there was still plenty more left in the package. I wanted to kind of audition these pieces with my card bases. You'll notice here that there's a couple different size shops. That first one was a little bit too big for the card. It covered up too much of the pattern paper. So what I did was I chose some of the smaller pieces for each of the cards, and I added foam tape to the back to add just a little bit of dimension. Once I pulled that release paper, I did add some liquid glue on top, so I had a little time to adjust my ephemera. And what I'm going to do is left align the ephemera piece to the left sides of my pattern paper. I added all of the ephemera to the red cards, and then all of the ephemera to the green cards, and then it was time to get my sentiments ready. 
For the sentiments, I decided to go with Happy Holidays, but if you use the gingerbread houses, I think the Sweet Holiday Wishes would be great. I will be stamping with VersaFine Claire ink onto some scraps of white cardstock, and just to make this quick and easy, I'm going to do some free range stamping, so stamping without a misty with a, that stamp block on top of the foam pad. I quickly stamped out six sentiments, and then off camera I took some time to cut those out trying to get some nice and even borders. Also, while I was off camera, I prepared my first two sentiments to go onto their card bases. And to do this, I put a small piece of sticky strip on one of the ends. You'll see that one of my ephemera is off to the left, the other one is off to the right. So that did help me decide which side my sticky strip would go on. Wherever it hung over the ephemera, I just put some liquid glue there, and that way both pieces were popped up. When I place the ephemera, I tried to get the right side, or I guess the left side of the sentiment, aligned with the edges of the pattern paper, just like I did with the ephemera. To finish the cards off, I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I brought in those enamel dots from the quarterly release. And the cards that have the green, they have some gold color on there, so I will be using the yellow enamel dots. And for the cards with the red background, I'm going to try to bring out some of that green by adding green enamel dots. I added a trio to each of the card fronts, just putting it around the sentiment by the focal point. And I just finished all of those for the sparkle. And here are some close-up looks at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these cute, quick, and easy Christmas cards using the brand new goodies from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.